Welcome back to the Reloading Layer range fans. And in the Reloading Layer today with me, have some equipment that I'm sure you all are gonna wanna see. Brand new, man this thing's heavy. Brand new released from Ransom Rest, the Ransom Multi-Caliber Steady Rest. That's a great short name for such a good, heavy, robust rest. I am calling it the multi-caliber, multi-functional ransom rest. Folks, I recently got this in from ransom rest. And as you can see here, it's made the one great thing about this. It's all made in the great US of A. That's right. Even the sourcing material is sourced from the USA. This is all made out of aluminum. And the other great thing about it right away is it all has quarter 20 bolts in it. That means capable of mounting on a tripod or even a monopod for hunting. Let's, let's test this out. So right here, I'll show you a close up of the screw, but I'm going to put in a tripod mount. Take a look at that folks. Holy cow, that's right, a tripod mount right there. There it is, goes right on a tripod or you could take the tripod mount off. And there you see the quarter turn uh, female endpoint there. But what a good rest. Let's see, what can I tell you about this rest right quick before getting it out on the range? Very nice, soft leather padding. This padding is adapted with two screws. So if this thing were to get dirty, torn, or needs to be refurbished, guess what guys? Just refurbish it. Put the screws back in and you're good to go. Also, this thing is fully, fully adjustable on height. So right there, and I'll show you a close up of these two. You can take this, loosen it. Let's see here if I can turn the right way. And there you have adjustments. Move my hand out of the way. Loosen it real good. Adjustments up and down of the old V block for elevation. You can turn this back tight. It's a little awkward today. You can turn this back tight. And if these levers aren't quite where you want them to be, you know what you do? Pull on them. Pull on them, turn them up top. They engage there. You can tighten it down a little bit more. Again, so you can have the levers adjusted exactly where you want them. In this V block here, the same nice soft leather on the padding is the soft leather in the V block. This leather is fully replaceable. Um, put anything in there that you'd like, replace it with another piece of leather as it gets worn from the uh, blast or muzzle blast. Um, and also with me and tending to shoot revolver quite a bit, holy cow, I can see that blast from the cylinder and also the barrel from the barrel cylinder gap, kind of getting this thing blackened. That's the other thing. I received or got the stainless version or the unfinished version. They do have a finished version. And by the way, guys, again, totally DIY. Take it, paint it yourself. Maybe etch it up a little bit just so that the painting sticks uh, because the, the I gotta tell you, the machining on this thing is a very, very smooth, nothing that'll cut you or anything of that nature, which makes it safe. Maybe take a little sandpaper, etch it up a little bit and then paint it yourself. And you've got a nice finished rest there, camo it, who knows, whatever your creativity brings about. The other thing that I really, really like outside of putting the entire rest in and of itself, like so on a tripod, you can take this entire V block mounting portion, take these through three screws out and put it right on top of a tripod yourself or either a monopod, uh, like I said, for hunting, or if you don't want to take the heaviness of this, if you are on a hunting trip, you can take this thing out. The screws come totally out. Let's see if I can do this without dropping anything and making a mess. You've got 
the two adjustable nuts there. I've got two washers I don't want to lose. And man, I can tell you what, I can take this V-block out. I can see myself on my hog hunt next year sitting with this on my monopod with that big 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum laid across the top of it, taking a shot at a wild hog. There you have it, folks. There's one last thing that I want to tell you about. You can take, okay, you see how I have it mounted here? We'll put this together right quick. I want to drop them. These wing nuts are coated with some form, what feels to be plastic or rubber. Though I know it's steel, it's just coated underneath, which makes for a great finish. Gosh, I can't get it threaded. Start it right. There we go. You want to make sure it's not cross-threaded, folks. Get it started. And I'll tighten it down. Tighten it down, and I'll pull it back just for the aesthetics. Pull it back down where I want them. There you go. You can see I got it mounted back on there. But you can, the way I have it now, set up now, is what I believe is for revolver use. My big old mitts, I lay that revolver in there like such. You can see those wing nuts are on the back side so that it do, does not get in the way. Now you can also put it in a semi-auto uh, fashion where you can take this total block, loosen the screws here, take it off, spin it around, put it back down and tighten it all back up. And there you have the semi-auto version also. If you have a semi-auto that's long enough to fit in this configuration, shoots just well that way also. But the other way, the semi-auto way, also fits for a snubby revolver. I've actually tested this thing with my Kimber K6 revolver laid in here, the two inch barrel. Man, what a dream. And guys, don't forget, I have changed the uh, rest on that Kimber K6. Shoots well with 357 Magnum now. Uh, very controllable. I'm going to show that to you while uh, doing a demo of this thing out on the range. So anyways, I just wanted to get a quick video out of the multi-caliber steady rest from Ransom International. Again, me, I'm calling it the multi-caliber, multi-functional steady rest from Ransom International. Stay tuned, folks, because the range usage is coming up next here we go guys we're gonna put this steady rest to the test today out on the range i figured anybody really could uh put it on the bench and see what it was all about we're gonna put it to the test on the tripod the ransom steady rest all right range fans we got the cz p09 on the rest there you have it the Ransom Steady Rest. Let's uh, let's see how she shoots. That's what it looks like on the front. Let's put some rounds down range with my hand model today. Let's see how he does. Now he's going two-handed. Oh, look at that Omega. That's why he's going two-handed. He wants to show that Omega. Nice watch. There you have it, folks. As you can see there, gun is empty. Omega steady rest. Did pretty good. I think we're about, what, 10, 15 yards down range? Wow. How versatile is that? We'll back up here and show you what kind of setup it's on. Just a regular tripod that I typically use for my camera. I'm hand holding the camera today. And that is the CZ P09 on the Steady Rest. Range fans and Reloaders Network 10 millimeter STI. Look at that beauty and I'm not talking about the hands either. Woo! Woo! 
What a sweet shooter. Multifunctional, multi caliber ransom. I'm digging this thing, dude. Really digging it. Eight shot Smith and Wesson 627. Reloaders Network and Range fans, stay tuned because there's going to be a review coming up on this puppy. He even might have a surprise for you with this 627. Let's go for it. Let's see how it does. Nice soft 38. Nice. Smith & Wesson Performance Center. 627. 10 millimeter SIG 220. Woo, look at that. Same hole. Let it recoil so it doesn't bounce back. Ah, uh, that was me. Not bad, not bad. The old SIG 220 and 10 millimeter. All right, guys, you know I couldn't leave the range today without shooting my short barreled revolver. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, I'm sorry. It's not short barrel. It's an eight inch barrel revolver on the steady rest. Let's, uh, let's put some rounds down range, see how it does. Get my ears in. I'm gonna shoot a double action. <laughs> you expected some big pop, didn't you? Nah, it's just 22 long rifle. That's right. Yeah, a little obnoxious, I know. 22 long rifle with an 8 inch barrel. Check it out. Wow, what a sweet shooter it is, folks. Mr. Revolver Guy with DayAtTheRange.com signing out.